Dear ladies and gentlemen, good morning everyone and welcome to quarterly webinar for AUGA group. Today Nasdaq Vilnius is hosted by Mr. Kestutis Yuschus, CEO of the company, joined by Mr. Martinas Repechka, CFO of the company. Worth mentioning that AUGA group published a lot of important news recently as well as the financial results for the nine months of 2019 which will be commented by the heads of the company right now. Several questions were received in advance so that uh, the presenters will do their best to answer them during the presentation by relevant topics. Later, we will open the floor for the questions. So, uh, Mr. Yushchus, the floor is yours. Uh, good morning. As uh, Simona already introduced us, uh, I will start the presentation. Uh, my name is Martina Srepechka and uh, I, together with uh, our CEO, Kestutis Yushus, uh, will present uh, results for nine months uh, period of 2019 of AUGA Group. And uh, we uh, have received several questions in advance, so we will try to uh, incorporate the answers to these questions in our presentation as well. And uh, AUGA, AUGA Group revenues uh, for nine months uh, period of 2019 were around uh, 47 million euros, or around 12% uh, higher compared to the same period uh, previous year. Gross profit, on the other hand, was significantly, uh, that is, uh, more than five ti uh, four times uh, higher, and totaled 8 million euros. The main reason for this was improved the results of crop growing segment this year, uh, uh, compared to really disappointing season last year. And my colleague Astutis will explain crop growing segment uh, results uh, more in depth uh, shortly. A BDA was 12.4 uh, million euros during uh, nine months of 2019. Uh, however, uh, to compare it uh, to the last uh, previous year's BDA, uh, IFRS uh, 16 impact should be eliminated. And eliminating IFRS 16 effect, uh, BDA for three quarters of 2019 was uh, 7.9 million euros compared to 1.7 million euros during the same period in 2018. And despite the significant improvement, uh, the net result was still negative this year. And for nine months, the net loss was uh, 1.3 million euros, or eliminating uh, IFRS 16 effect, uh, 0 0.8 million euros. And last year, the net loss was uh, 4.9 million during the same period. Uh, total financial liabilities were uh, 86.6 million euros at the end of the third quarter in 2019. However, as it was discussed in e earlier webinars, uh, IFRS 16 implementation had a significant impact on financial liabilities levels disclosed in financial statements. Eliminating uh, IFRS 16 effect, uh, AUGA group financial liabilities as at the end of September this year amounted to 55.5 million euros and were slightly lower uh, compared to the, uh, to the uh, financial liabilities level at the end of 2018. Adjusted working capital measure was around 40 million or 2.5 million uh, euros higher than at the end of 2018. As it was uh, discussed earlier, organic agriculture is very working capital intensive business and working capital changes have a significant impact on financial liabilities level of the group. And the useful way uh, to look at the financial debt level is by deducting cash and adjusted working capital from financial liabilities. Uh, this measure more clearly indicates uh, financial debt uh, not covered by cash or working capital operated by the group. And financial debt level with cash and adjusted uh, working capital deducted amounted 14.5 million, uh, million euros at the end of September this year compared to 15.9 uh, million euros at the end of 2018. And now my colleague uh, Kestutis will discuss uh, crop growing segment results. 
Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kestutis Yusius. I am CEO of Auga Group and wants to present you our crop growing segment, which is actually at the moment is the largest uh, cash generating segment uh, in the group. And um, this year actually was not so not so bad like last year. You know, the farmers are always complaining about uh, about time and about uh, rain and sun. But uh, we have actually the largest, uh, the hottest uh, June and the driest uh, driest spring uh, since uh, many many several years. And uh, but uh, still, the results of the group is uh, this year is much better versus last uh, 2018 season. Uh, the main reason for this is uh, that we actually was able to to to, to see the last uh, in, the, in autumn 2018 to see the substantial amount of uh, of winter crops, uh, which actually was up approximately 15,000 uh, hectares, and um, the winter crops actually we are not so uh, so sensitive to to droughts uh, and uh, and hot climate uh, in the summer conditions, and. Um, if you look here, so we as we have already the statistics from uh, not only from our company about harvest, but also from Lithuanian statistics. And uh, 2019, uh, we harvested uh, winter wheat uh, on on the level of approximately 4.2 tons per hectare. Uh, when you look uh, on the conventional in Lithuania, it is only 4.3. So the season uh, 2019 uh, versus 2017, when there was no drought conditions, it's actually approximately 15 percent uh, lower uh, on conventional side uh, and we expect uh, that we also lost uh, because of drought approximately 15 uh, percent of yield so uh, no, uh, so company actually performing on the wheat uh, quite good because we improved our uh, technological level uh, how to make this wheat and also we improved our uh, quality of uh, soil preparation and uh, of course, the knowledge of of our farm managers are much better now, like it was when we started uh, organic farming uh, three years before. And um, we are still looking uh, that in, in future uh, we can improve uh, improve our yields up, and uh, we we will go to this with a closer and closer to conventional uh, farming yields uh, because technology is not yet uh, on fully implemented on on the best way so it will be still implemented better and uh, when we're coming back to the legumes which is actually this is quite also important um, uh, part of uh, on our business uh, so because it's uh, many hectares uh, approximately uh, 8000 hectares was seeded uh, this season uh, we have also the low yields this because uh, legumes are summer crops and the hot uh, hot june uh, this is above 30 degrees in average it was uh, in on, on the hot days uh, so it's actually a decreased amount of uh, seeds and uh, we have after harvesting in September, we have a little bit uh, less like we expected, but uh, the yield is better like in 2018. So, uh, and also the difference between conventional farming and uh, and um, and uh, organic farming is less this year last, uh, versus last year. So it also shows our company's uh, performance uh, on the field level uh, that we are doing better farming uh, uh, every year. And um, uh, so uh, it's super important uh, to mention that um, uh, the company's technological technological level is uh, is also important uh, uh, to achieve to higher yields. Uh, so at the moment uh, we're using uh, on 90 about more like 90 percent of our soil preparations we are doing already on mental technology which is or not is good not only for uh, for you for uh, for soil quality and uh, improvement of soil diversity diversity uh, micro life diversity but also is long term is works uh, for improving quality soil which is reflected to the better yields uh, on the next years and that's that's growing
Okay, then we're looking to the price of uh, of our segment. Uh, so we have already uh, contracted uh, approximately 66% of uh, uh, of our crops, uh, and we delivered uh, approximately 33% uh, of our the, the crops we produce at this year. And uh, when we're talking about prices, what we have in our uh, valuations and uh, what we are on the stocks, so we have uh, our contracted prices uh, we're putting in the calculations and uh, our contract contract prices on some crops are a little bit uh, lower, uh, like in wheat, and we see that uh, the wheat is, uh, this year is quite a good production, was also in Europe, and in legumes, uh, especially on uh, some legumes are even more requested this year, because of back on the drought, uh, this was not enough, and uh, some legumes are even more expensive, like last year, uh, like beans, for example, we are, uh, we are, we are really, how to say, it, High, high, high request and there's not enough on the shortage on the market. Um, the cost of the production uh, of cultivated land of feeds and legumes increased by 5% comparing to the seasons of 2017-18 or 2019. Uh, the cost increase mainly related to better land preparation and we do much more work uh, so soil preparation and more inputs to the land during the season. But it's also related to that we uh, we we done it because uh, the pot yield potential was also included on higher level, uh, which is not uh, only reflected because of drought uh, and not uh, unfavorable weather conditions. So cost per hectare, uh, five percent. Uh, is uh, we see which is uh, we can uh, look in future also to that the cost uh, we can uh, keep uh, more or less uh, on the same uh, same level uh, because. Uh, because uh, the efficiency we, we do every year is also a little bit increased and is actually compensating uh, our also a little bit uh, labor costs uh, wages uh, growing up and uh, uh, and, uh, and 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 other resources also sometimes uh, differ prices uh, season to season um Financial results uh, per hectare of wheat, uh, of course, is significantly improved uh, because uh, the yield is much higher, and uh, we, we had uh, a gross profit uh, approximately 180 euros uh, per hectare, and uh, but you know this is 15 percent uh, reduction because of the drought is uh, significantly impacts uh, the yield because last uh, last uh, last uh, last yield what you are harvesting is actually goes directly to profit. Uh, to profit line because your cost you don't need to add any any cost uh, if you harvest uh, 0 0.5 ton more per hectare so um, the legumes actually is also a little bit less losses like last year but uh, it's mainly related to to the higher yield uh, the costs are on the same size so in generally, the gross profit for growing for this growing segment, uh, including results of sales of agriculture produce, gain of losses or changes in fair value of biological assets, and agricultural subsidies amounted to 8.5 million in the first nine months, uh, 2019, compared with 1.8 million the year. Yeah, yeah, of course, here is quite substantial amount. This is uh, about uh, about our organic uh, agriculture subsidies. The direct subsidies we are big, large part of our uh, direct subsidies we already received. Uh, uh, organic subsidies actually this is this uh, is uh, every five years after finishing uh, this. Uh, Growing season, uh, five years uh, period uh, is uh, recalculated back uh, to the uh, to the every plot of the soil, and there are many uh, requests uh, how to how to make this five years farming and uh, the, the calculations final calculations of organic subsidies amount it will be done uh, uh, in 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 December uh, LS December so we, we will not we will know it uh, with uh, fourth quarter results. Uh, well prepared. We also we have uh, we seeded already this year a uh, uh, similar amount of uh, of winter crops, uh, which is also is actually good uh, because uh, uh, the winter crops is uh, we are, we had done ne negatives uh, regarding droughts and uh, we seen that this is quite stable crops. Uh, but in, but winter conditions and uh, climate here in Lithuania is also could be not favorable in winter. So we expect that uh, we have, we have far, we have the winter will be mild and uh, we not have negative results out of it uh, but um, 
we the, the soil and the, the, the crops are very very well prepared in the in the autumn because conditions in autumn is was very very good it was enough uh, time to prepare soil it also was uh, enough rain uh, and the moisture content in the soil is uh, recovered back and uh, we see that uh, the conditions uh, are good and even the better like good uh, for next uh, for next crop and um, we we like a group uh, is well prepared for the season of 2019 2020 and we see positive about the next year harvest potential uh, hello once again and uh, i will uh, then cover uh, other business segments uh, of Alga Group and mushroom growing business remains stable with the same trends in revenues and cost changes as in previous quarters of 2019. The revenue of uh, mushroom uh, mushroom growing segment was uh, around uh, 21 million euros for nine month period of 2019 or 11% higher compared to the same period in 2018. And the gross profit for nine-month period of 2019 was slightly lower compared to the same period in 2018, respectively 1.5 million versus 1.8 million. Since the business operates on comparably a thin gross profit level, even minor changes in revenues or costs have impact on a gross profit fluctuation. But uh, um, uh, looking at, at, at the year in, in, to, in total, uh, we are expecting that uh, that the 2019 year should not be uh, let's uh, gross profit for 2019 should not be lower compared to, the, to 2018. And the, vol the volume of uh, and share of organic mushrooms sold remain the same as the year earlier. And the group focuses on serving fresh uh, mushrooms market uh, due to better profitability and relationship with the major clients. On the other hand, uh, the demand uh, for fresh organic mushrooms in the market, uh, markets uh, where the group is present does not increase rapidly, thus resulting in almost stable volumes of organic mushrooms sold. Uh, the group is analyzing uh, opportunities or options uh, to enter new markets with uh, fresh organic mushrooms and uh, it has the plans to uh, strengthen, uh, strengthen its sales team as well. And uh, should, this, uh, uh, should the group succeed in this process, the volumes of organic mushrooms could increase because the group has capacities and materials to produce uh, more organic mushrooms. Now I would like to switch to diary segment uh, results. And um, diary segment uh, sales revenue for nine uh, for three quarters of uh, 2019 amounted to 7.6 million euros, and it was around 17% uh, higher uh, comparing to the same period last year. And total volume of milk sold increased by 10%, and the average price of milk sold increased by 9%. The volume share of milk sold at organic production prices was around 69% uh, during three quarters of 2019, comparing to 37% uh, in the same period of 2018. And since May um, of 2019, the share uh, of uh, organic uh, milk sold at organic production prices uh, remains at around uh, 80%. So, uh, so, uh, so the share now is stabilized and 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 uh, do, do not uh, fluctuate so so significantly. Uh, the gross uh, loss of diary segment equaled to, to two million loss uh, for three quarters of 2019 and was about the same as uh, a year earlier. However, the gross result from only milk sales was considerably better comparing to um, comparing nine months of 2019 and 2018. And this year, the, the result was almost zero, while the year before it was minus uh, 0 0.8 million euros. Uh, however, on the other hand, uh, the group struggles with losses uh, from revaluation of biological assets, or in other words, in uh, its animal herd. And the main reason for this is high animal growing costs uh, compared to the value it ultimately generates from milk production during its useful life, lifetime. And the low average meat uh, sales price that, uh, that the group manages to get uh, when it finally sells the animal. And the high cost uh, and not a satisfactory quality of the grass feed is the main driver be behind the high animal growing cost. 
two years in a row, including this year, uh, were challenging uh, due to uh, a dry, a dry summer, uh, were challenging for grass feed preparation, which resulted in comparably high cost per ton of prepared feed. And um, the group is trying new you know, seeding technologies for grasses, which could result in better yields of grasses, uh, even in drier than normal weather conditions. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, yes, uh, now I, I will cover the, the last uh, segment, is end, end consumer uh, package goods segment. And end consumer uh, segment keeps expanding further. And total revenues of end consumer packaged goods segment amounted uh, to 1.8 million during the first uh, nine months of 2019, compared to 1 million a year earlier. Uh, the AC market was finally entered and uh, first order for first orders uh, already delivered to Costco Wholesale USA. And negotiations uh, with several major retailers in the USA and other countries uh, are in the process as well. Now, uh, ready to eat organic soups remain the main export product in this segment, but um, intense talks uh, on expansion of range uh, with dairy segment, uh, dairy products uh, um, are in the process uh, in the Middle East. And um, in, uh, uh, finally, in my in my last uh, slide, I wanted to inform you. Uh, that in the purpose to ensure more uh, convenient access to financial data of the group, we prepared and published uh, financial data in Excel format. And we plan uh, to update uh, the spreadsheet uh, after each quarterly financial uh, results publication. And in addition, you can uh, subscribe uh, the newsletter or, uh, of our, uh, in our company's website as well to get uh, up-to-date information. Uh, thank you. That is uh, that's all what we wanted uh, to cover today. So we are now open for your questions. Mr. Yushus, Mr. Repechka, thank you for your presentation. So the questions received in advance were um, aimed to be covered during the presentation, but uh, if you still have some more questions, so we are ready to answer them now. We're still waiting some minutes. Please use a chance to ask the heads of the company.
So it seems uh, no more questions and uh, I think we can conclude. And just to remind you, as always, the record of the presentation will be available in the NASDAQ Baltic YouTube channel webinar playlist and the company's website, auga.lt. Uh, the presentation held during the webinar is all also available together with the um, financial statements for nine months, available in the NASDAQ Baltic uh, website. There, uh, uh, Repetka and Mr. Yushchev, uh, thank you very much for your time, for presentation, and uh, good luck in in the offering of green bonds uh, this week. Participants, thank you for joining and have a good day.